is Roman. First, I want to apologize for the quality of the video. Uh, my phone died, and I just felt like I really needed to get this done from recording on my laptop at the cam. So, um, again, my apologies. Anyway, I was doing my nighttime scroll with um, my social media, and I noticed that someone in my network was really upset that the government is trying to stop money service businesses from offering the short term payday advanced loan services. The rant went on to um, basically say that these a lot of people rely on these loans to make ends meet, especially during a time of meet. And I couldn't agree more. I totally get it. Trust me, when I was on hard times, I've definitely had to take advantage of this service a few times myself. But that is the key. This is supposed to be a short term loan that you do once in a while. The problem is that a lot of people are stuck in a loophole where they're taking this loan out every two weeks. And that's where the problem in lies. Um, they feel like these money service businesses are taking advantage of people who cannot afford to pay this loan off once and for all. And what's the problem with that? I'm going to explain it to you. When you're presented with your contract every time you take out this short-term loan, you will notice that the APR is well over 100%. In most cases, the APR is over 200%. Now, most people feel like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't understand how it could be over 200% when um, actually they're charging me only 10% plus a dollar every time I take out this loan. So basically, every time I take out a $500 loan, I only have to pay back $551, which is absolutely correct. They're charging you 10% plus a dollar for that installment. However, if you are caught up in this loophole and you borrow the same $500 every two weeks, you're paying $1,200 in fees a year to borrow the same $500. I'll repeat that. You are paying $1,200 a year to borrow the same $500. And that's where the government feels like these money service businesses are preying on those who cannot afford to pay off this loan once and for all. The interest rate is unethical. So that's where this is coming from. I'm not coming from a place of know-how. I've actually, like if I didn't mention it already, I've worked for the largest money service business in the state of Florida. I know this to be factual. Okay. Um, Another thing that I wanted to mention for those of you who are not familiar with the service, um, they do make you wait a 24 hour period before you could take the loan out again. So they try to put those buffers in place to try to make it seem more ethical. Also, there's a system in place in the state of Florida that um, basically restricts people from having more than one payday advance loan out um, at a time with a money service business. So let's say if you're with Ace Company, you have a payday loan with them, you can't go to B Company and take out a loan at the same time. The system will block you out. So that's the way they try to control it on an ethical level so that people don't dig themselves in even a deeper hole. But they feel that's simply not enough. Um, so don't want to just offer criticism or I also want to offer a solution to you guys who are caught up in the loophole of taking out these payday advances every time you get paid and it seems like you can never get out of it. If you ever take a close look at your contract, it does state that if you ever fall on a hardship and you determine that you're in a place where you can never pay this loan off, you can request to enter some type of hardship payment plan. It is your right to request this. Okay, so um. This is a way for you to get out the loan once and for all, and I would strongly advise any of you to take full advantage of this. Now, some of you have concerns that, well, I wrote a check. They can always deposit that check at any point in time. Please know that anytime you are able to make a partial payment towards your payday advance loan, they can no longer deposit the check. Not based on the agreement, not based on a moral or ethical perspective, but let's say, for example, you wrote the check for $551. Let's say you make a partial payment, even if it's for a mere $5 or $10. You no longer owe $551. You now owe $541. You owe $546. Since you no longer owe the full amount of $551, that monetary instrument, they can no longer deposit it because you don't even rightfully owe them the full $551. So, Again, they can no longer hold that check over your head. You can enter a fair arrangement with them to get this paid off once and for all, and you can stop paying that $1,200 a year you've been paying to borrow the same $500. So again, this is not coming from a place of judgment. It's coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of wishful thinking and wishing you all financial freedom. If you are stuck in this cycle, please know that there is a way out and you don't have to keep doing this every two years. You don't have to be a victim of... Um, of this. And for you guys who are saying they're not a victim, they're choosing to enter this arrangement. Yes, you're right. But not a lot of people, a lot of people aren't educated to know 
uh, enough to know and understand um, what they're really getting themselves into. And I'm really just wanting to enlighten these folks, encourage these folks um, to find a way out, encourage you to find a way out if you're one of these people. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. Again, just wanted to take an opportunity to educate you guys and, and give you a higher level of understanding with this. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your night or day wherever you are. See ya.